as my kids are approaching the age of being officially an adult, I thought this would be a great video to make. Adulting 101. I guess that's the word that people are using these days. How to be a grown-up. Trying to figure out how to be a grown-up and all the things that are involved in being a grown-up. It's not easy. This video is for you younger people who are wanting to move out or have moved out and just trying to figure out what to do to be an adult, what's all involved, trying to get some tips and ideas to make your life a little bit easier. For you older people, please feel free to comment and uh, leave your tips and ideas. So let's start with, say you're still living at home and you just want to move out. You just can't stand being at home. Your parents are driving you nuts. Like, they just don't understand you. They're mean. They're whatever you think they are. You're going to have to know what you need to do. So the first thing before moving out, if you're at home or if you moved out and you think you better move back home to save up some money, is the art of communication. And you're like, my parents, I can't communicate with them. Well, then all the more that you need to study up on how to communicate. It's not any easier when you get out into the real world. People don't communicate with you like you would like to. They won't understand you any better than your parents. You'll have to deal with people that don't like you. You'll have to deal with all kinds of crap. <laughs> hate to say the word, but that's what it is. And learning the art of communication is going to be your number one friend in this world. So I highly recommend you start with picking up all the books you can on the art of communication. Written and spoken. How to speak with people. Read up on psychology. Read up on anything in that area where you can learn more about others and how to get them to understand you. Because forcing your opinion on somebody never works. So if you could figure out how to communicate with parents that are very difficult, who don't listen to you, then you become an expert adult at an early age. Because with that, you'll go far. So make this your mission. If you really want to grow up, be treated as an adult, want to be respected. I hear a lot of young people saying, I'm not respected by my parents. And it's often because a younger person is not respecting themselves, for starters, or respecting the other person. You have to give respect in order to get it. Even if someone is not being so nice to you, you need to be more of an adult than even them, even if they are older, by trying to listen to what they're saying. Try to figure why are they saying these things. And just don't assume, oh, it's because they just don't like me, or they put me down, or they don't want me to do this or that. Maybe your parents are afraid of losing you. Maybe they're afraid you're going to hurt yourself. Maybe they're afraid of things that they were afraid of at a younger age. Keep in mind, your parents were younger. They were your age at one time, and they've done things that they won't tell you about. <laughs> they weren't th these same people that they were when they were maybe 18, 16, 20. So think about that. They were younger one time, too. It's very possible that you're not going to be doing the same mistakes as your parents, but they still have these fears. Or you may do other mistakes that they know that you might do, but you have no idea yet because you haven't gotten to that um, part of your life yet. There are things that will happen in life that you'd be like surprised. They're like, what the heck? <laughs> this could happen or that can happen? or So I'm making a great emphasis on the communication part before moving on to moving out. So I think I'll just make a whole nother video on the moving out part, because this is so important. You should not be moving out until you learn to communicate. Because once you move out, you'll be dealing with bosses, landlords, landowners, professors, neighbors, 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 friends, neighbors, families. <laughs> There could be fights you have to know legally, you know, what you can say and what you can't do. What, what's the best way to communicate with a neighbor who's kind of off the rocker? How to keep a situation from exploding? And what a perfect place to practice. There's not a better place to practice all this than at home. If you could diffuse a situation at home 
with your mom yelling at you or your dad yelling at you or your siblings pulling your hair out. If you could diffuse that situation, you could probably diffuse any other situation in your life. So you be the grown-up here in your family. Do your research. Do your homework. Look up the information about communicating how to diffuse a volatile situation. When your mother's yelling at you instead of yelling back, that doesn't work. You could say, I hear what you're saying, Mom. What would you like me to do to make this situation better? She says take the garbage out. Take the garbage out the first time. Don't make her tell you ten times. Because that just shows her that you're not a grown-up. A grown-up takes out their garbage. A grown-up cleans up their room. A grown-up does their own laundry. A grown-up does the dinner. So maybe you could start with that too. Do your own laundry. Do your mother's laundry and your father's laundry and your siblings' laundry. I'm not saying every day, but do something that shows them that they could trust you, that they can be okay with you moving out on your own, that they know that you're responsible, that you can handle anything. Start making money too. Give it to your parents. Say, this is for my room. I want to pay for part of the electricity or I want to pay for my room. I want to um, whatever, help them out. And if they don't need the money or they won't take it, then you put that money in a jar and let them know you are saving up and you're being responsible. You're not gonna move out with a backpack and uh, $2 in your pocket. If you love your parents, and I'm sure you all do, you're not gonna want to scare them to death and just move out and not be responsible because if something happens to you, I know you're thinking, well, it's my life, I could do what I want. If something were to happen to you, you're not the one who suffers if you're gone. Everybody around you suffers. But if you love your family, you should care about what you do to yourself and what you do because you could hurt others in your family if something bad were to happen to you. So be as responsible as you can. Help your family out while you're living at home. Show them that you can be an adult. And if they see it or not, it doesn't really matter, but you are doing what it takes. Practice being that adult you want to be at home. If you already moved out, and you would like to move back to save money, don't use your parents. That's not what an adult does. If you move back home, cut the grass, take out the garbage, clean up, mow the lawn, do whatever it is that they need help with, go grocery shopping, or I'll make dinner, whatever it takes. So look at what your mom and dad are doing. Do they work? Are they paying bills? Are they cutting the grass, cleaning the house? Try to help them with all of that. It's like being a roommate. Try to do all that. Now, right away, they might not take you seriously as an adult or treat you as one, but the more they see you've become this responsible young man or woman, they will take you more seriously. They're like, you know, they've got this. They can, they can handle themselves. We feel good about it. We trust them. They're going to do the right thing. I'm going to leave this conversation here for now. And I'll make another video in the future if you would like about what to do next. And really, communications is important for all of us, adults as well. If you find that you're arguing quite a bit with your friends, spouse, families, try to learn the art of communication. There's plenty of books out there on the topic. And you'll be amazed how much it can truly help in relationships. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Please share, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to live a passionate life.